Hello, welcome, dear spiritual friends. Thank you for being with me. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and I am a certified angel therapist and holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of October 18, 2015. So I thank you all for being with me and watching and sharing my videos. You are a blessing to me, and I am forever grateful. For that, I hope you had a wonderful week last week, and hopefully this week will be just as wonderful and just as blessed. And hopefully you'll see your miracles, even the tiny little ones, and be show much gratitude and create a karma that you're so well deserving of. I will select one card from three different decks, and then a prayer card from Archangel Michael. I already called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and the archangels, to be with me. And because of law of attraction and my intention, I cannot select the wrong card. So I'm going to begin this week's reading with the Life Purpose cards. And we'll see what our first card for the week is. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. First card says family. And it reads, loving your friends and family is central to your life's purpose. So you want to have a, a healthy love relationship with your friends and your family. And if there's any kind of turmoil, you know, you want to make peace with that. Uh, you know, even if they're not willing to make peace, but make peace and send them love. Give them love and understand that they're hurting, you know, and bless them. Because that love that you give out, you know, is going to draw and attract things that, that you need. And it helps with your life purpose. You know, when we're so focused on negative energies or things going wrong, family and friends, it upsets us and it disturbs our life purpose and who we're supposed to be. But let people be who they be. You can't change people's mind. But you can certainly love them and forgive them and bless them. And that's what you want to do and just surrender it and just let things be. Let God handle them. So loving your family and friends, no matter what they do or what they say or what they're going through, love them and bless them so you can continue and have a full uh, purpose in this, in this lifetime. So I think it's a great card for all of us. <laughs> and then the next set of cards are the romance cards. And we'll see what the romance angels have to say for us. You know, I live here in the, the northeastern part of the United States, and uh, the trees have begun to change, and it's really beautiful. Um, you know, the thing is, cleaning up the leaves <laughs> is good exercise <laughs> and extra work. And then all most of you, I'm sure, are switching from summer clothing to cooler weather clothing and making changes and winterizing your home and like I'm doing and it takes a lot of time. <laughs> so I wish you well with that and of course call on your angels to help you to get organized and to be accomplished. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck for the romance cards. And it's the card selected was is retreat. And it says it's time to disconnect from the world. <laughs> you know, maybe uh, you're overloaded. I mean, I've been so busy as well trying to make the transfer into uh, the cooler months and and with work and so many things. I'm feeling a little bit overloaded. <laughs> and I think a little retreat would do me good. <laughs> and I hope you as well. You know, it doesn't mean to take this huge time maybe just take a few minutes just to have a cup of tea and just get away from everybody you know if you live in a home with with children and a family you know go to a room and lock the door or take a hot bath and just take some time away and and re, you know rejuvenate yourself and of course love your family and friends regardless what's happening and you can separate yourself from them if they're going through you know, uh, uh, a nasty time right now. 
and you want to forgive them. So time to disconnect from the world, retreat. The romance angels tells us to love ourselves and to be able to do that. <laughs> and the third set of cards are the power cards. And we'll see what the angels have to say with these cards. Okay, I'm just going to cut the deck. The card is the Ten of Michael. And it reads, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. I love how these cards all come together and tell this wonderful story. We're talking about loving your family as part of your purpose and, and caring for them and send them love and taking time away to connect, to rejuvenate yourself in that way. And it lets you know that once you do that, then the situation has ended, you know, and we're finally free from all the negative energies or things that are going on and happiness will follow now. And you just have to put the past behind you. It's in the past. Let it be there. Don't bring it back up because the present is very important. And, of course, the future, we create our future by what we think, say, and do. So love is the highest energy of all. And we need to express it even to those who are not loving. <laughs> but we want to do that because that energy that's around us. And God recognizes that. You know, he recognizes the energy and he, I truly believe that God sends us people who are suffering so we can bless them. So if it's a family or friend who's suffering, who's angry at you or um, going through something and blaming you or pulling you into it, whatever, they're suffering. Because someone who's really happy would not do that. So bless them and love them. That's what they need. And give them space. Retreat. Get away from them for a while. Okay, and everything, things will end and things will be wonderful for them. So, that think that's a wonderful, perfect story <laughs> or advice from the angels. So now, the Archangel Michael prayer cards, and we'll see what our prayer is for the week. Cut the deck. And the prayer is. Oh, this is perfect. I love how these cards work out. That way, Michael says. Um, the card says, "Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation." And the card or the prayer reads, "Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with this situation." Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. So whatever you're going through, sending love, take that little retreat, you know, that you need to get away. Um, it's going to end. There's going to be peace. Michael is going to help you. It's funny because uh, it says the situation, the ten of Michael came up and said the situation has ended. And then we have the prayer card. For Archangel Michael is asking you to call on him. He's going to help the situation. And he's going to help end it and bring happiness into your life. So these two very strong messages from Archangel Michael, who's, you know, magnificent. And he's God's biggest, most powerful angel. Because not only is he an archangel, he's also an ascended master. He's also a saint. And he has the ability, like Jesus, to be with every single one of us at the, ver at the same time. So he can help us all. And nothing is too little. You know, the jobs of our angels and archangels and the ascendant masters is to help us no matter what. They don't think anything is too frivolous or not important. Everything's important, you know, and we have to, and then we as humans go through things and we need their support and love and to help recognize. So please call on him. His colors are royal blue and purple. And you might want to see that fabulous color. And he's huge. He's just huge. And his wings wrap around you. It's just loving and amazing. 
I work with uh, Michael all the time, and uh, him and I are like this. <laughs> so, and you can be like that with him as well. <laughs> so thank you all for being with me. You know, I like I said again, I'm so blessed by you watching and sharing your uh, sharing my videos with others and leaving me comments and sending me messages. I just really appreciate the love that you give me. So I invite you to visit my website at cindyshealing.com. There you'll see all the services that I do. And you can also connect with me through social media, any of my social media sites through there. And then if you would like a personal session with me, it's very affordable. You just pick the price that fits your budget, and we will connect either through Skype on the phone or in person if you live close by. So I hope you take advantage of that. And of course, every Wednesday night, join me for my live web chat. You just go to my website, click on the live chat link, and you will connect and get a, a reading from me. Get a free reading from me and connect with like-minded people and um, share your wisdom. <laughs> you know, there's regulars who come every week and then we get some new people from all over the United States and all over the world that pop in. So it's such a delight and it's a wonderful time. It's in the middle of the week. Help you get over the hump <laughs> for the rest of the week and be blessed. So thank you all again. You know you are powerful when you're in the knowing. When you have God, the Ascendant Masters, the Archangels behind you, you're powerful. There's no stopping you. So until next week, I send you lots of love and kisses from me to you. And of course, I wish you all namaste. Bye-bye and thank you. Bye.